Welcome to DaVinci Resolve Tips and Tricks. In this episode, we're gonna finish with the round trip and send things back to Premiere Pro. In this case, I have these clips that I just put together for export. So, of course, you can go back to the edit page and just check that everything is fine and clean, you know. We can probably delete the empty tracks and have just one track. You know, if you just wanna grade and don't wanna mess with the edit page just yet you can send this from any page these are pages so you can go into the export page and if you have many different timelines you can just jump in here this will show you the clips just like in the color page you can have it or not um in this case um, we're going to export the notes so on the left hand panel you have all the export settings presets and manual settings in the middle you have the viewer where you're gonna see your film as it exports it will move from clip to clip there's many options you can have this to you know to not update while you render if you're trying to i don't know save RAM memory i suppose minimal or on it will just go frame by frame as your timeline exports and all the projects that you queue are gonna come here let me delete this one are gonna queue here your jobs so i mean it's pretty self-explanatory so there's many ways of exporting and i'm going to show you which is probably my preferred one for a round trip when we export from premiere into davinci and davinci to premiere but on a nutshell like custom export you you know customize as you want you have h264 um, and h265 presets prores you can go straight in, into youtube literally if you log in your details it goes straight into your channel um same for you know twitter vimeo dropbox final cut pro i'm gonna skip that and audio only avid pro tools and my preferred option is coming up here to the presets premiere xml so we'll export individual clips you can use yeah source name exactly the same thing but the difference is that it's going to create an xml so you import this xml into premiere and it will already create the timeline for you and uh, let, let me show you so i'm going to export this into the desktop but if subfolder call great test source name i'm going to change this quickly i'm going to call it no grade test so at least it makes sense come back here source name yeah great test great test i'm going to add it to the queue and render all we just wait okay now it's all exported so let's move to premiere pro well this is an empty project but let's suppose this is your working project um you just come to file import you bring um so the desktop is a great test and bring the xml see that exported all the files with their correct original file name now in the new format in the prores 42 gonna add a folder click on the sequence and it will say it's coming from resolve and here you have the graded sequence back to back on premiere as i show on the first video if your timeline is be more complicated with adjustment layers graphics etc 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 you will have just one track of all the videos so it's just you select them copy and paste into your actual main timeline and that's about it that's the quick export settings from DaVinci into Premiere Pro. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.